Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. This is my video on version 11 software update. It's 2021.44.25.6. I haven't done a full self-drive beta video because I've noticed that it's been very intermittent with me. Certain areas will do better at certain times than others. And I realized that it's because each scenario is different and even though it's coming up to the same thing, it's not like each street is programmed. So it's making different decisions at different times. I'm gonna do a full self-drive beta video on this one since we're on 10.8, but 10.6.1 was really buggy for me. I didn't think it would be a fair comparison. Uh, this is the suspension program. So we actually noticed this too. Laura would be on our phone and it would give me warnings. Luckily, I never got kicked out of the software. Even though Laura was getting the warnings, I just took it off completely. Or if Laura like laid her head on my shoulder, it would give us a, you're not looking at the road. So this has improved greatly. Now you can actually look at the screen and navigate and do stuff since it's all based on the screen. Now that might be different for some people. That's just been my experience so far. And here's some of the release notes. So there's a lot of different improvements that I'm coming in a little bit later on this update video. So if you watch other YouTubers, you've probably seen some of this improved object attributes network to reduce false cut in slowdowns by 50% and lane assignment error by 19%. I've noticed this as being an improvement. That's basically when it just slows down thinking that somebody's gonna cut in front of you, but it's still pretty bad on the freeway. On the freeway, you have to understand that there's full self-drive beta software, which is for city streets, and then navigate on autopilot software, which is totally different on the freeway. So you can't really compare the two. And so that's why you don't see very many freeway driving videos anymore because it's different software. They haven't done a single stack yet. Improve photon to control vehicle response latency by 20% on average expanded use of regenerative braking on autopilot for smoother rides, right? So a bunch of technical specs. I'll post this all if you want me to really go through each and every one of this. Basically, it's just driving a lot smoother than it used to. Full self-drive beta when we first got it, I think it was 10.4. It was not very smooth. It had very bad braking. This is great at braking. Obviously, full self-drive beta software will pull you out if it's raining at all. Uh, snow is fine. I drove around in the snow and it didn't block it or impeded at all when it's raining it just won't let you do full self-drive beta at all um, i'm not sure how they're going to improve that i know on ai days Elon Musk talked about basically the camera doesn't need to see what our eyes see and so they can break it down a different way to see through the rain. So autopilot improvements, this is basically just visualizations for us. You know, you got solid white lines, solid red lines. Um, they took away the tentacle. So you got a solid blue line, which that's quality of life. And then my favorite part, the redesign of all of this, the UI, right? And there's a lot of really good improvements that came into this. We'll walk through this here in a second. The cabin camera is making sure that we're alert, right? Light show feature. So I haven't even tried this out, but uh, maybe we'll take it to a parking lot. I'm guessing it's just the holiday dance thing. Customizable app launcher. Man, I've been waiting for this for a while now. The way that this works, I'll just show you right now, is you've got your app launcher here. And then much like any device out there, I just got a notification. So I like that it's just a smaller version there. Um, so say that I wanted to do something with this, right? The theater, I could hold that and say I wanted theater down here. I can now put theater down there, right? And, you know, click out of it. And I've got the theater down there. I've added it to the customizable things. For me, I've got the music, text messages, the camera, the theater mode, right? So customizable, which is so great. Um, simplified controls. So this is basically, you know, your controls that you had for the windshield wipers, the charging, all of that. You now basically have a sub category right down here. You can see my home link is up and also just the other quick menus and stuff in here, just to give you an idea of what the menu system looks like. It's more like the Plaid Model S now, which is much, much better. I think it's a huge improvement. The only thing I don't like is I did like seeing, because um, we have premium connectivity, I did like seeing whether uh, I had connection or not, um, but this is all great. Like a lot more user friendly on searching around things, right? Have the windshield wipers on auto. If you're on full self-drive beta software, it automatically makes you do that because it clears the camera off by itself. It's actually kind of cool how it does that. And then, you know, your steering wheel, sentry mode, and then your dash cam. Mine says unavailable right now because I don't have any memory, so. And then I like pedals and steering, right? I don't know what pedals are referring to. That must be a flat Model S thing or Model S thing or Model X. Uh, you can see the settings that I have currently right there. 
uh, charging, you know, just a much cleaner looking setup, right? Uh, I have mine on Assertive, Customize Navigate on Autopilot. Let's see, there's nothing else, you know, Mad Max. Uh, I like it to be as assertive as possible, so I put all the settings on that. Now, this is a new feature right here, automatic blind spot uh, camera. That basically means that when I hit my blinker, it's gonna pull up my camera, right? Blinker right, blinker left. Huge update, we've been wanting this for a long, long time, and so having that finally accessible to us is pretty awesome. And, um, you know, locks, this shows, you know, the cars, or key cards, and then, ah, I like that. I, I think that's a new feature right there. I do like that. Um, sometimes you don't want your whole car to unlock, so that would just make the driver door unlock. You know. You can now turn it to dark mode all the time, which I thought I would like, but I really don't like it during the day. It's kind of hard to see. I could crank up the brightness uh, and uh, probably would stay there for longer, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it on auto. Current trip settings, navigation, you know, your typical, those haven't changed much, right? So view live camera mode on the app, that's an old feature, but one that I love. Uh, Laura was making fun of me because we were out at dinner the other day and I just kept pulling up the cameras. Um, any service requests, I love that it's broken it down to here, just makes it a little bit cleaner right there. And then just to show you a software, man, I'm almost at 100,000 miles, that's crazy. You know, this car's been fantastic <laughs> for us. We haven't really serviced it many times. Um, almost up to 100,000 is pretty crazy. You would be getting ready to do like timing belt and water pump at this point, but we don't have those. We're just rotating tires. Sometimes I have them check the fluid just to make sure it's not leaking because there is fluid that uh, cools off the battery and everything. You don't want any leaks. And then they've made it a tab to have upgrades on here. I don't have any upgrades that I can do, so it's not going to show that. Waypoints. That's awesome. So this basically adds it so on your navigation you can have multiple points. I'll do this in a future video, but basically it makes so you don't have to have just one point that you're going to, it'll have multiple points. They've added TikTok. I'm not a TikTok fan. I don't have a TikTok, I don't watch it, but if you like TikTok, they've added it. Sonic the Hedgehog, one of my absolute favorite games growing up, so I actually might start playing some games in the car. And then upgrades to Polytopia, Sudoku, Subwoofer. Man, the subwoofer settings, when I change them up, actually kind of hurt my ears. Where you find this, a lot of people don't know this, but if you go up here, you have tone and then you've got sub controls now. Usually I have this on auto too. I put it all the way up and it's not like a, a low rumble. It's more like a low sound that you end up hearing in your ears, which is pretty crazy. Cold weather improvements, just like anything else, right? Cold weather improvements come up. It's kind of like the various fixes and bug at this point, you know? Automatic seat heaters, which is pretty cool. Um, Laura needs this, she likes it, and uh, just having it auto-regulate so that the HVAC system isn't the only thing kicking all the time is pretty cool. And then any improvements to managing dash cam clips is always welcome. This is cool that they've made it a little bit better, right? Hide map details, you know, you, that's just other quality of life things. I'm gonna drive it just for a second, just so you can see some of the things that changed. Let's back out of my driveway. Now I'm not using a GoPro right now because uh, we all know that GoPros are notoriously terrible and low light. So, you know, I've, I've got my overkill camera set up right now. I've got my A7S III. Um, <laughs> hooked up and just really hoping that this suction keeps a hold of it. Let's drive and show you a couple things that are, I like this too. Your notifications are just nicely there at the bottom. Home link is showing. And so look at this, this is really cool. You've got your auto settings and everything that pop up. And absolute favorite part, bam, I've wanted this for a while. I do like the visualizations a lot better than necessarily having the map. Now that's kind of at certain times, that's the crazy thing or the good thing about it is that you can change it up whenever you want to. So, you know, if I want to pull this back and have the map, I can have it back. Um, I can spin that around. This came to a full stop right here, which it shouldn't have. So um, I'm going to just report that real quick. choosing to go right 
it's kind of funny if you have full self-drive beta on and you don't have any destination selected. Wow, this is handling this stop sign pretty bad. Um, I don't know if it's because my roads are very hilly and stuff, but it's super hesitant to do anything around my house. Um, obviously, you guys can only see the screen right now. Let's give you guys a wide shot. So let's see where it goes. I think it's gonna just circle me back to where my house is. Now, one of the toy box things, I'll have to pull the toy box things up, the Santa Claus mode, I guess is, um, Oh, it got mad at me. So that that was me looking at the screen too long. Let's do jingle all the way, I guess. So apparently it animates people walking as elves. You know you're the man, man. Run, run, Rudolph. I don't like that you can't turn off the sound, so we've got that sound. Don't know if it'll copyright strike me. There we go. So now it's off. Pretty cool. I want to see a person on the side of the road. Cars animated as like reindeer and stuff. A little bit of a Easter egg there. But um, I'm going to go into a more detailed review at some point of you know what features it has. Obviously, this is just the basics of it and the look and feel of it but there's a lot of different things that go along with this. Oh, the bells come when you hit the blinker, I guess. That's the, the blinker noise. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you a look into the new update. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe, that whole deal, and we'll do more videos.